Hello guys and welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows cannot find one of the files in this theme error on Windows 10. In this video I'm going to give you a few solutions that you can try in order to fix this problem and I'm hoping that after watching this video your problem will be solved. The first thing that you should try is you should try to change the theme and see if that solves the error. To change a theme in Windows 10 you're just going to have to right click on your desktop and click on personalize and in the window that appears you're going to have to go in the left side and click on themes and in themes you're going to have to select the theme that you want. Just try to select another theme and see if that fixes the error message. Also you're able to get more themes in Microsoft Store so keep that in mind. You can get new themes for your Windows PC from the Microsoft Store. You can also try to delete the theme and reinstall it again. Right click on your desktop, click on personalize and then again click on themes as you've done in the last step. And here just try to select another theme because you won't be able to delete the theme that you're already using. So just select another theme right click on the theme that you want to delete and click on delete. After that you can either reinstall the theme or you can get your theme for Microsoft Store. You can choose what to do next. If that didn't solve the problem try to switch the theme background setting to picture. Again right click on your desktop click on personalize and then and here in the window that appears just go to background and select the background picture. This solution only applies for those of you that are using a slideshow. Just try to select the picture background and see if that fixes the error. And the last thing that you should try and hopefully to solve the problem is to switch off the theme sync settings. Just click on the search button and type in here sync and click on sync your settings. And then again from this window you're gonna have to turn off the individual sync settings for theme. If you're getting this error you must know that you have to be logged in with a Microsoft account in order to disable the sync settings for your theme. So guys I'm hoping that this video helps you and you manage to fix the error. So this was the video guys don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video until next time have a nice day